Yo, what's going on guys? It is time for another puzzle video and another review. Uh, today I'll be reviewing a puzzle by a company called Peter, Peter Palper Press. Uh, and the puzzle is simply titled Llamas. So I got this one um, because my sister, one of my sisters loves llamas. And so I thought it'd be fun to pick up a puzzle that I could gift to her afterwards. Um, before I jump into everything, just wanted to say a few things. Uh, one of my goals for 2021 is channel growth. And so if you guys have been coming and checking out my puzzle videos or any of my videos for that matter, uh, and, and you're subscribed, I greatly appreciate that. If you're leaving comments, I appreciate it. Likes, all that stuff, I appreciate it. If, uh, but what I'm looking for is for you guys to actually help me to grow my channel. Um, and how you can do that is simply sharing my videos. Share them to social media, Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, wherever you socialize. Um, if you're in groups on Facebook for puzzles, you know, go put my videos in there. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys. Uh, and I'm, I'm enjoying seeing the growth of my channel, but I'm just trying to, to increase that growth. So, but let's go ahead and get to the, back to the puzzle. So um, when I reached out to Peter Palper Puzzles, or Peter Palper, Peter Palper Press <laughs> about a puzzle, and like I said, I wanted this one. Um, I do not remember who I spoke with, so whoever did uh, send this out to me, thank you, I greatly appreciate it. But a couple of things I wanted to note that it says here on the back, uh, each piece fits firmly together. Linen textured surfaces uh, reduces glare, which is like what I had on the, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank, the Archie puzzle, Cobble Hill, Cobble Hill puzzle. So I really liked the finish on that. So if this is like that, that's gonna be a huge plus. Uh, sturdy premium blue, puzzle board um, as I'm doing more and more reviews of these puzzles I'm starting to learn more and more about the types of materials that are used for them so I think I know what this means with the blue board on the back but I guess I'll see that once I actually cut it open and look at it <clears throat> and it says it also has a full-size poster uh, finished puzzle included so huge props for that because I, I really dig it when I have these puzzles you know references of the front of the box are always helpful um, but when you have a poster that's uh, close to the same size or it is the actual size of the completed puzzle, um, it makes it way easier because you can actually see life size where that piece would go into the puzzle. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened and check it all out. The box quality itself is actually really nice. It almost feels like it has that same uh, um, linen finish on it. All right, we've got the puzzle pieces here. Just as it said, it's got the blue backer and we've got the poster here, which Yes, this is a full size poster. I can't even see me. There we go. And actually, it's kind of cool too on the back side. Uh, it's got a lot of their other puzzles that they have available. They had a lot of really great puzzles uh, and I was torn because I really wanted to get the llama one so I could send it to my sister. But I, I really wanted the uh, Times Square or the Alice in Wonderland as well. So, um, Maybe I'll grab those up at a later date. Or if you guys are happy with this video and want to send me another one, Times Square is going to be top of my list and the Wonderland will be the one right after it. I'm going to set this to the side for now so I can go ahead and get the puzzle pieces open. There's one little thing, and again, this isn't necessarily a complaint because uh, it's kind of hard to avoid, I know, but I can already tell that there's a decent amount of puzzle dust with this one. Um, it's not a make or break situation for me. It just means I have to clean up a little bit uh, before I start the official puzzle. So let me set the poster over there and let's check out these puzzle pieces. You know what, before I dump these puzzle pieces, let's go ahead and clean up what's here so far.
All right. Oh, that did not do a good job of that. Exactly what I was trying to avoid happening. They all dumped on me. I'll go ahead and set those aside. Okay. I'm not very coordinated today. I'm going to go ahead and get... Yeah, there's quite a bit of this puzzle dust. Let me get as much of this out here as I can now. Um, so I'm not throwing it everywhere. Okay, so quality of the pieces is very nice. Just as it states on the back, they are nice firm pieces. I can definitely see that linen texture on them. Uh, and there's a good variety of different shapes of pieces. Another huge plus for me, I like it when, you know, there's multiple pieces. Um, I've mentioned this a lot of times, my big pet peeve is when every piece is just shaped like this basic piece here. It makes it really difficult to complete a puzzle when every piece is the same shape. Um, I know they're not identical in shape, but I'm talking about where, I'm not even sure, but it's got the two ins and two outs, uh, yeah. So, uh, there's a lot of similar colors in this puzzle. So I think in regards to trying to separate it out by colors is gonna be kind of tough. So I think what I'm gonna do is throw all my edge pieces to the side. Any of these ones that are obviously mountains, I'll put those into a tray. Um, anything that's like the solid grass that I can 100% sure make out is solid grass, I'll put that onto a tray. And then maybe I'll try to break the llamas up into two groups. The ones that are the large llamas versus the small llamas. So we'll see how this works out. But let's get to separating and get into the puzzle.
done with this puzzle and you probably noticed you know um, sometime throughout the time-lapse portion of this video that the uh, arrangement here looks different and now you'll probably see that it looks quite different behind me too and the reason for that is I started this puzzle way back in January where I was still living at a different place and here we are in November and I'm just now wrapping this up so uh, and one of my recent videos uh, that'll be up here I guess you can see up there <laughs> You can uh, go check out where I've been uh, for most of this year and why I've been on a bit of a hiatus. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and get into finishing this puzzle um, so I can get started on another one. Um, I've enjoyed doing this puzzle. Aside from the fact that it took me forever to actually complete it, I did most of it, the majority of it, I believe in like one sitting. Maybe two sittings, I can't remember because it's been so long. Um, and then it sat for a while. And then it moved from Spring Branch, Texas, I'm sorry, Spring Branch, Houston area to downtown Houston area, which was a challenge in of itself to uh, transport a partially completed puzzle without breaking it or losing any of the pieces but I got it done. <laughs> Few more to go. All right, we got two left. Bam, bam, let's get that uh, top down shot real quick of the uh, completed puzzle here. I think it's getting in there, there we go. Yeah, so Peter Palper Press Puzzles. Uh, this was a fun puzzle, it's a cool puzzle. Thanks again to you guys for sending it out. Um, since it has been so long since I uh, received this puzzle, I'm going to have to like do some digging through my emails and see if I can figure out who exactly sent this to me. 
uh, from Peter Palper Press uh, and let you guys know that the video is officially up and running. I do apologize for the delay. If you guys can see behind me back there, I think I've got somewhere in the realm of about 50 plus puzzles back there uh, to work on. So, and then you might notice, I can't tell from back here, you'll see there's four boards here. And the reason for that is, oh, that one's empty. That one's empty too. <laughs> but I've got another half completed puzzle under here um, that I started also several months ago. Um, I think I started it in, ooh, I gotta be careful here. I think I started that one in 2021, but it could even, honestly, it could go back as far as 2020. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so I got a lot of catching up to do. I got lots of puzzles behind me to get completed um, and want to get back on, um, get my videos back into a regular rotate rotation again. So uh, I'm very out of my element. I don't even know how to film these outros anymore, but if you enjoy these videos, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, uh, please click that subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the little bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. I will see you guys in the next one. Later.